Hey folks, Alton here. Welcome to Wild Bush and Grit. So today in this video, I want to talk to you about Sitka, Sitka gear. I've been planning this trip, right, to go up, up north, uh, hunting ptarmigan or uh, lagoped in French. And I was talking with the folks at Sitka and it was like, hey, you know what? Let us outfit you with some of the best gear we have for cold winter. And I was like, of course, who am I to say no? Um, so they sent me some stuff. In this in this age, a lot of the, the uh, supplies are low everywhere, so they couldn't send all the stuff that they wanted to send because uh, many things were back order and my trip was very short. It was coming soon, I mean. But they did send me a lot of cool gear and um, I want to talk to you about that. So here, first, what you're seeing here is the biz layer. So I'm under my snow pants, I'm also wearing uh, Sitka biz layer. So down up the light merino biz layer very comfy very soft you know usually when you're wearing wool or cheap merino quality it's it's kind of you know itch and you know you're not quite comfortable but this yeah there's a zip actually this is very very soft very light very comfy i really like it they also sent me the kelvin active jacket very light very very light i was surprised uh its efficiency you know so it's so light that you know like you can see it's you can packs really really tightly but it's so light when you wear it that it's actually actually slept with it you know uh, in the in the sleeping bag and in terms of insulation it's pretty darn good on our first day here uh, I was wearing this layer and this layer only and it was no joke minus 22 celsius here with the wind chill we were about at minus 32 33 celsius and but because of course you know i wasn't standing still i was active i was we were snowshoeing going uphill downhill and so on but that's and i felt fine you know like i, I didn't felt like cold I, it wasn't warm like mm, so warm no it wasn't like that it was just Perfect. A little bit cold, but just enough so you don't sweat. Uh, yeah, um, I was I was pretty impressed. One thing I should say, I should have maybe said earlier. Yes, Sitka did send that to me, and but they are not paying me in you know anything else or to make this video or whatever. They just they're confident enough <laughs> on their gear that you know it will speak for itself. And me on this channel, I don't talk about gear that I don't like. I will not lose my time. Making a video will lose your time with uh, with that kind. So I, when you see something on my channel, it's because I loved it and I highly recommend it. The fourth element, the fourth thing that they sent me is the Blizzard Aerolite Bar Cap. And that thing is a beast. Uh, I, I'm not saying this lightly. It's... Um, you know, one thing I should say, even for the the Kelvin, is they have pockets everywhere. To me, <laughs> it's a bit overwhelming because I am not, um, you know, how to say, I am not disciplined enough to have. Okay, this goes in this pocket, this goes in that pocket, and no, I'm not. I will just grab whatever, put it in the pocket, and then I will spend 20 minutes. Where's my wallet? Where am I? Where's my phone? Where's my sunglasses? Where am I? You know, all this so. Uh, but if you can manage multiple pockets without much uh, much issue, I think you're gonna love all the layers of pockets they have. And again, super light compared to some other um, you know parka I wore like uh, winter gear. This is Canada, right? Every year uh, we have various various winter gear, and this is definitely the lightest for that temp rate that I've ever had. The outer layer is Gore-Tex, and they have their, uh, I don't know how they call it, but they have a, you know, multiple layer of uh, insulation inside, but I don't want to be technical. Let me just put this on quickly. I want to show you two features that I really like. First, and I don't know why, but to me, all winter coat, all winter jacket, everything winter should come with this. Some does, some doesn't, but this is so, so cool. You know, when a winter jacket doesn't have that, I don't even look at it anymore because this, this saves lives. 
yeah, pockets everywhere, as I was saying, if you can, oh, you even have something to wipe out your glass, this is pretty neat, I didn't notice, <coughs> pockets everywhere, all sorts of things, there's another one here, the pockets actually have a very nice uh, fuzzy fabric inside of them, which when you put your hands, very cozy, I don't know if you can, camera can picture this, Inside the pocket, yeah, yeah, this is gold. Because when you put your finger in it, it's nice and toasty. So that's it, three layers. The light base layer, Kelvin active jacket, and the blazer Ari light parka. This is three layers of camo, that means I'm three times hidden. That's how it works. Waterproof, and I wore this one on the second day, and we had to go, and you know we were doing the same thing, going uphill, downhill, and wearing this was actually too warm. You know I was getting uh, very hot inside, starting to sweat. I had to open it to uh, to vent it out. So to me, if you're active, even by super cold temperature like today, like uh, yeah, today today is actually minus twenty six. And uh, wind chill, you're probably going to minus 35. If you know you're going to hike, you're going to walk a lot, just wear this this layer. You can have, you know, okay, I, I was maybe a little bit hardcore with just a simple base layer and this, but you can add another layer of wool. You know, if you have another uh, synthetic or wool vest with you, you can wear that under your Kelvin jacket. Of course, uh, you need a good, a good tuck, and also a neck guider. Okay, the neck guider is also merino wool. That's it. That's my seat car review, and highly recommend. Honestly, it's yes, it's not a cheap uh, brand. You know, the the wear are expensive. I would, for all the pros that they give you, definitely there's a con. And to me, in what I'm saying in Sitka, it's the price. It's within the premium brand, right? There's multiple premium brands in hunting, and Sitka is definitely uh, one of the, uh, in my opinion, one of the top. I haven't seen any downside yet. You know, maybe that's going to be duration. Let's see, in a year, two years, three years, how this, how this gear holds up to time and the test of hunt. But I'm pretty, pretty confident that this is going to, uh, to sustain quite some. It's really well made. You know, all the stitches, all the uh, Everything is at the right place. There you have it. All right, folks. So if you like this video, let me know. Thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. If you're new to this channel, I think you're going to like what's coming next. And um, that's it, folks. Be safe out there. Have fun out there. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. See ya.